How's it going, guys? We are so excited to invite all of you to the Restore Conference on March 26th and 27th here at the awesome Life Church Broadway in Britain. This is the first conference ever where we'll be hosting both men and women. So couples, come on. Singles, come on. This is all about your restoration with God and your union with the Father. Uh, you all are going to get so much out of this. And I wanted to bring in our team that all went to this conference previously and kind of get their uh, take on what their favorite things were about this conference and what they're most looking forward to. So, Brad, yeah. what was your favorite thing about going to see this conference? This this was great content. It came in a time in my life that, in, to be completely transparent, even now, it's it's frenetic. It's just fast paced. We've got COVID. We've got uh, lots of stuff going on at family and work. And what I took away from it was real practical things that I can do on a daily basis that help just restore my soul, to help me get back in touch with my creator. I mean, practical things. That's the biggest thing I took out of it. It's just, hey, this isn't something, it's not just content that's um, all theology. There's there's great theology that's rooted in, um, you know, biblical teaching, but it's something I can walk away with intangible. That's good. Misty, so what? having been to this conference already, what do you think you need the most right now out of it? Just the reminder that you can be in the middle of crazy and still have Jesus mm-hmm. and that he can cover you with his love. And I remember we went in 2019, mm-hmm. and I remember yeah. we were all talking about how crazy life was in 2019. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If I could go back, that is laughable. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was just kind of a few months before the lockdown. And so then to have gone through quarantine and then in Oklahoma to go through an ice storm and snowpocalypse and freezing weather and through all of it, it's crazy. I have three kids I'm homeschooling in the midst of the crazy, but you can still have Jesus. And it's a great reminder and I can't wait to hear it again and just continue to walk toward restoring my union with Jesus. So So good. Meg, what are you looking most forward to with this? Well, so when I went the first time, I had no expectations. And I think that's something awesome as you prepare to come to this, to go in with no expectations and just have yourself open and ready to hear from God. I think that's so important. But what I am looking forward to most is I learned a lot through that, through all of the lessons and just hearing everybody speak and the worship, Mm -hmm. just everything together cumulatively spoke so much to my soul. And so... I am so excited to start um, where I left off last time and kind of further that walk with Jesus a little more intimately and dive in deeper on what he showed me the last time. That's awesome. That's good. All right, Jess, why does someone need to come to this conference? Yeah, I think um, we had no idea what was coming just a few months after, and it was so impactful. And it really set us up to be able to be home with our families and to hit all these challenges and to not feel like we're isolated, even though we were isolated in our homes. Um, Having that connection with God in that time was invaluable. Um, I know my mental health, my heart, my walk with God is so much stronger because I had that first. But to be honest, turning the page of 2020 into 21 didn't change anything. We're in a new year, but nothing is really different right now. I think we see some hope on the horizon, but for me, I need a reminder that I'm not walking through this alone. And so for anyone else who's thinking about coming, you can't afford to miss it. I mean, I don't know. We can't predict what's ahead of us. We have no idea what tomorrow holds. Maybe it's not another pandemic, but maybe a family member gets sick or the appliance goes out when you're hanging on by that last thread what's going to sustain you when you're walking through it. And so it's too good to miss. That's so good. That's so good. This, this truly will be a rescue for many of you. So consider signing up today. If you're on the fence about it, reach out to us at info at true north. Live. If you have any further questions, if you are just ready to sign up, go to www.truenorth.live and sign up under the events page in the restore conference. And we're so excited to see you all there. March 26th and 27th, and uh, hope you guys have a fantastic day.